I was originally born with a disability called lower limb gigantism. It was generally diagnosed. There was no actual specific diagnosis for it. It's most similar to something called elephantitis, where both uh, lower limbs or both legs are super enlarged and engulfed in fatty tissue. I had a very similar diagnosis, except it was only my left leg, and they couldn't figure out why. So we actually did a lot of stuff, such as like gene therapy, trying to look at if it was hereditary or not, but they couldn't find any links to it, so it was just assumed to be a genetic mutation was what they concluded. They couldn't quite figure it out. Uh, in the fourth grade, I actually started playing a sport called sled hockey. It's a disability sport for those with lower limb disabilities. First, I actually like was totally against it. Never played hockey before in my life. Never really watched it. My family wasn't really about it, so I was pretty skeptical. But when I got there, I just kind of fell in love with it. Um, just being able to go as fast as you can, skating, and kind of being away from your disability and breaking out of that shell was just really big. Especially growing up at an early age, that was kind of the most freedom I could have anywhere. It was just playing. Starting out, I didn't take it very seriously. It was not really that competitive. As the years went on, kind of towards middle school, I started taking it more seriously. I realized I could kind of go somewhere with it. I started traveling a little bit more and uh, going to more tournaments and just throughout more experience, I got a lot better. Following that, I got my amputation, which actually made me speed up exponentially, uh, dropping on that dead weight uh, from my leg. And I got invited to the USA camp from then, and I've been, to, I think, three at this point and it just kind of kept rolling. So we just kind of try to see it through, try our best to keep a balance of school and hockey. So I, I currently attend Ohio State University um, first year. I decided to choose biomedical engineering because of um, being an amputee, really. I would just kind of hope to get into prosthetics and maybe even like some cellular stuff like uh, tissue regeneration and it just felt like really personal to me. Growing up like in a hospital setting somewhat to having to go back to the hospital like a few times a year and having to recover there. Uh, seeing a lot of the other patients and even my teammates struggle with their disabilities, it'd be a huge goal of mine. I think I could be really fulfilled uh, pursuing a career in biomedical engineering. Put a lot of passion and effort into that and really pursue that. I just think schooling to be a doctor is a little too much as well. So I think it's the perfect balance. So my parents never really tried to set any limitations on me. My doctors didn't really sure what I could do either. They always just told me to do what I could to the best of my ability, and that's what I always did. So I tried my best to keep up with the other kids, and like as time went on, the gap kind of grew slightly, especially with all the uh, surgeries. There are a lot of recoveries, so however much time afterwards, I wasn't able to like really keep up. So I was like in the wheelchair, used crutches, and then up until then. I had my biological leg until freshman year, and then um, essentially the doctors were saying that they were either going to do a reconstruction or an amputation at that point. I was kind of running out of options, so uh, they actually did um, a meeting about the potential reconstruction, and then they said that um, even following the reconstruction, they weren't too sure if it would have been successful or not, and then they ran the numbers, and uh, the likelihood of it being successful was so low, and the operation would have taken so long, and they weren't sure for blood loss and such, they, they essentially ruled out reconstruction and eventually it was just amputation left and it was a matter of when or if I wanted to do it and uh, my parents had that option from the very beginning but they left it up to me until I was mature enough to make that decision for myself which I really appreciate to this day. Um, but at that point I was just figured might as well get it done sooner than later. Um, it would be better for the long run just to get that out of the way and be better for my mobility overall. Hopefully just be like kind of the one and done, try to like wrap it all up with one amputation. So we got it done and uh, here we are today. I think the biggest drawback is really just like the difference of being disabled. It's just hard going out with friends. 
it's hard sometimes to see that as much as you don't want to limit them and they don't want to limit you or make you feel excluded, sometimes it's kind of bound to happen just through differences and difficulties physically. Um, just try your best to get over those obstacles really and um, make the most of it really. Just have a lot of fun, make it a fun time, do what you can. So up until fourth grade, I actually didn't know that many disabled people. Um, it wasn't until I was introduced to the sport of sled hockey that those doors were really open for me and it provided a really good community. Some of the most ambitious disabled people you'll ever meet. They're also pursuing school and athletics as well. Some of them being on the national team or still working towards it. None of them make excuses. They always overcome all the obstacles that they can and just being in that kind of community where everyone understands being disabled yet there's just kind of an unsaid understanding between everyone there where everyone has their own differences but everyone understands the struggle of having to go to a hospital and not always being able to naturally overcome obstacles going out with those that are able-bodied such as their friends. The fun within the disabled community is amazing. It's uh, just like super awkward weird fun. Uh, things like we like steal each other's legs and like <laughs> Essentially, there's just no boundaries, and it's kind of good to not have to be treated like you're disabled, just like anybody else. We can all mess with each other with like wheelchairs and legs and whatever else, really. Just some truly inspirational people, um, and um, my life wouldn't have been the same without them, and I couldn't be happier that I've met them throughout this time. In the aspect of hockey, the Paralympics is coming up in China for 2022. Um, that's going to be in Beijing. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that Paralympics, but I'm going to try to hopefully at least make the development team at that point, which is the national B team for hockey and essentially the feeder team for the national team. By that point, I hope to be a prospect for not this coming Paralympics, but the following Winter Paralympics. Following that, I'd also like to continue to pursue my career in biomedical engineering, potentially go to grad school and or just work in industry hopefully trying to make a difference.